Hello friends. So today we are going to learn the connections of 2.1 home theater board. So this is a TDA 2030 IC based home theater board. And first of all we are going to do the connections of the transformer. So this is a 2 ampere sandy type transformer. And as you can see, the first wire of the connector, it is connected to the right pin of the transformer, the right most pin. The center pin of the connector, it is connected to the center pin of the transformer. And in the same manner, the third pin of the connector, it is connected to the left most pin of the transformer. Now we will see how to connect this uh, Bluetooth MP3 card and this volume control to this amplifier board. So first of all we are going to connect uh, this uh, connector uh, and we will insert this connector to the board. Uh, here as you can see it is a 5 pin connector. So first of all we will insert this into the connector uh, board and now as you can see uh, that this is the uh, connector for supplying the power so this port is for supplying the power to this uh, bluetooth mp3 panel so this port uh, this wire it is going to connect to the 5 volt uh, connector so here the board can get the power supply of the 5 volt so as you can see that we already have connected this uh, connector for supplying the power so now uh, we can see the connections of this uh, potentiometer so this is a 100k dual tone potentiometer and it is acting as a volume control so now uh, the connections are very simple that the ground wire uh, the middle wire as we can see there are four wires the rightmost wire is antenna so there is no need to connect it right now so guys as we can see that the center wire on this bluetooth mp3 panel this center wire and the leftmost wire on the amplifier board the black wire these two wires are going to connect to the rightmost pin of the potentiometer, the third pin. And we also have to connect these two pins, the below and the upper pin together as well. So, second thing we have to do is that the right leftmost pin and the rightmost pin, the pin number 1 and the pin number 3. So, these two wires are input wires and these two wires are going to connect to the leftmost pin, the pin number 1, upper and lower side of the potentiometer. So as we can see the yellow wire is connected above and the red wire is connected down, downside. Now as you can see that the other two wires from those uh, amplifier board. So these two wires other than the black wire. So these two wires are connected to the second pin of the potentiometer. And the, there are two pins as well as upper side and lower side. So as we can see that the red wire is connected uh, on the upper side the second number pin and the yellow wire it is connected to the below side second number pin so here we are done with the potentiometer connections and it will act as a volume control now we will see how to connect the base so the connections are very simple so first of all we are going to insert it like this and as we can see that the first pin on the connector connector side the first pin it is connected to the rightmost pin, the third pin of the potentiometer, the second pin to the second pin of the potentiometer, and the third pin to the first pin of the potentiometer. So as we can see, the connections are very simple. Now let's connect the subwoofer to the amplifier board. So here we have a connector available here on the subwoofer side. So we just have to connect the wire and just plug it out. Now we will connect the speakers to the board. So for this we will use this kind of uh, connector. So we just have to insert it like this. And uh, the middle wire is a ground wire on this connector. And we have to use this middle wire to connect one one wire from both the speakers. Now all the connections has been done. Now let's test it, how does it work? 